In this video, I will show and explain how to make a backup script for KVM on Linux with Python 3. In this script, we first import the libvirt API, which is being used to make a connection to the KVM hypervisor and then put all commands on. We are going to ask it to shut down VMs, ask which VMs are on or domains, and if they're still on, and all that kind of stuff. Then we need time because we need to be able to sleep. We need system for the exits and just use it to copy the files um, towards the backup destination. We're importing XML DOM from mini DOM because the output of the third API is in some cases XML data, which we need to parse. And that parse data we can use to figure out which disks are attached to a virtual machine. And those disks are the ones we're gonna copy. So the script starts over here. We try to make a connection. And if you don't want to shut down the virtual machines, you can open it with read only mode. This script has to be run on the current hypervisor, otherwise, uh, because we use none. Um, if you put in the right parameters here and arguments, then you can actually connect to an, a distant remote hypervisor, but we're not doing that today. So we're using open because we want to be able to shut down our virtual machines. If that doesn't work, we get an exception and we print exception blah 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 fail to open connection to the hypervisor and we exit after that we do another try uh, here we ask the connection to list all the domains ids this is only the domain ids from active domains so virtual machines for every virtual machine id in the vms list we go for a domain ID and we ask it to do a lookup. Now domain is an object that's a domain rep represented by the API. We are gonna make a backup of this domain. So we're gonna call this script with parameter domain, which is this function. I said script, I meant function. Uh, we do a little print and we're gonna check if this domain is active. If it's not, huh? it's already offline. What are we doing? Something is wrong. We're not doing anything then. I probably should do something useful here, but for now we just print and that's it. Then, so it's still active. Okay, we're gonna shut it down. Put the sleep counter on zero. Could put that above, but it doesn't really matter. Um, this is no longer redundant because I figured out I actually need it. So as long as the API tells us the virtual machine is active, so not zero, and the sleep counter is lower than 30, which we're actually gonna change to, uh, um, what's it called? Max sleep. Is 30, something like that. And then 30. There. And there. Now we have a nice variable where we can change this. Okay, so as long as uh, we are under the 30 seconds, uh, we keep going. And this should actually become 60 because 30 was a bit close. We already hit the 15 seconds. We up the variable. I tried to do this, but Python doesn't have something like that. I'll have to figure out if there's something related, but th this works for now. So we up the sleep counter. We, we tell ourselves, yo, we're still waiting. We sleep for one second and if we actually hit 
the 30 seconds then we will abort like it's taking too long and it's 60 seconds in this case it took too long we're giving up on this vm take a note we abort this virtual machine backup but the vm might still be going down so this script is not safe yet it, it could very well virtual machine and then never do anything with it again and then you're there with a, a shutdown machine so i'll make something then if we are within the time limit so under 60 seconds we're going to copy the files for every disk that this domain has we're gonna uh, print the disk and then copy it but how do we know which disks this domain has well make another function for that first off we make an array which is empty then we're gonna get the xml description api call from this domain put it into this string and we can print that it's a big xml string it's not that special then we're gonna parse it and now we got an xml object this xml object we can search for tags by name we want this disks and then we get disk types for every disk type in disk types we're gonna uh, do the following commands we're gonna check if the disk type is actually a disk and not the cd-rom or anything else because we just want to make backups of the CD of the disks the hard drives then we're going to get all the child nodes of this disk and here we have the array we append the attributes value of the disks which in our case is the file location of the disk of the virtual machine then after we run through all the disks we return this array which is being returned to this place and for every disk in disks which is this array we are going to do the copy after that's done which takes a while we will create the virtual machine again which sounds a bit weird but creating is actually turning it on and that's it for this virtual machine then this loop continues until we had all the virtual machines that are powered on at the moment you start the script if you start the virtual machine while the script is running it will just ignore it then if there's no exception that's the end of the script i could place a nice print like this backups complete yeah and there we go in the next few minutes i will show you how i made the script it's a hundred times sped up it took me an hour to make this i'm not gonna bore you with an hour of coding at the end i'm running a backup and that's about it
hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe.